Hello friends, I welcome you all to my channel. As a part of uh, lecture series on the ecosystem, today I am going to deliver a lecture on ecological parameters. The interaction of the food chain phenomenon and the size metabolism relationship between the linearly arranged various biotic components of any ecosystem results in communities having a definite tropic structure, which is characteristics of each type of ecosystem. Trophic structure can be measured and described either in terms of the standing graph per unit area or in terms of energy fixed per unit area per unit time. I repeat, Tropic structure can be measured and described either in terms of the stating crop per unit area or in terms of the energy fixed per unit area per unit time. Dear friends, the tropic structure and function at successive tropic levels that is producers, herbivores and carnivores may be shown graphically by means of ecological pyramids where the producer level forms the base and successive trophic levels from the, from the apex of the pyramid. As you can see in this picture that plot community is producers this form the base of your pyramid and the top carnivorous line it forms the apex of apex and it becomes a pyramid triangle like it is called a pyramid and this is called a ecological pyramid. Food chains and food webs provide quantitative information about ecosystem. They do not give any information about the number of organisms involved which can be shown through ecological parameters. Thus, an eco ecological pyramid is a diagram that shows the relationship amounts of energy or matter contained within each tropic level in a food web or, or food chain as depicted in this picture. The concept of ecological pyramid was developed by Charles Eaton in 1927 and after his name, these are also called as Eltonian Pyramids. Ecological Pyramid is a graphic representation which depicts the number of organisms, biomass and productivity at each trophic level or we can say Ecological Pyramid or the graphs which illustrate the Trophic levels in a community beginning with the producers at the bottom and proceed through the different trophic levels forum apex. As I previously discussed in the last slide, you can here see the uh, example of a pyramid. This is the graphical representation of a food chain where different kinds of um, producers uh, like uh, phytoplanktons, algae, or some other um, producers form the base and then the other organisms at the successive block level like uh, primary consumer, secondary, tertiary and so on. It forms the successive levels and it forms here it is the base and it is called apex. It is the general representation of ecological pyramid having producers at base and top carnivores at apex. So, dear friends, it was about the brief concept of what is uh, ecological pyramid. Let us proceed with the types of pyramids, that is ecological pyramids. Ecological pyramids are of three types, pyramid of numbers, pyramid of biomass and the third type is pyramid of energy. 
pyramid of numbers which shows number of individual organisms at each trophic level the second one pyramid of biomass which is based on the total dry weight and other suitable measures of the total amount of living matter and then the third one that is pyramid of energy in which the rate of energy flow and productivity at successive trophic levels is shown dear friends as far as pyramid of numbers and biomass is concerned these may be upright or inverted depending upon the na nature of the food chain in the particular ecosystem like it may, may in it may be in uh, different in the grassland forest aquatic ecosystem but the pyramid of energy is the unique one this pyramid of energy or always upright in every ecosystem taken into the consideration well first of all let me discuss about the pyramid of numbers these pyramids show the relationship between producers herbivores and carnivores at successive trophic levels in terms of their number they show the number of organisms in each trophic level and do not take into the consideration the size of the organism and or emphasize the importance of small organisms the pyramid of numbers form different shapes in different ecosystems depending upon the organisms involved in the food chain be it a, in, if we take an example of a grass there must be some other some one kind of pyramid if we take an example of the pond ecosystem there must be some other kind of pyramid or in forest or desert so on and so forth Okay. These are the two different parameter uh, parameters, ecological parameters of two different ecosystems. This one is in the pyramid of numbers in the uh, grassland ecosystem, and in this figure B, it is the pyramid of numbers in sorry, it is in pond ecosystem, and point is again in grass eco grassland ecosystem, and this one is again one more example in the grassland ecosystem. For instance, in grassland ecosystem. I have depicted the two pictures, figure A and figure B. The producers here, the producers which are mainly grasses, are always maximum in numbers, as depicted in this picture. In this pyramid of numbers, the higher up one, the higher up one moves each. consecutive level or we can say level contains fewer organisms than the bill level below that is producers level it is the primary consumer or herbivores like rabbit mice etc are less in number than grasses then okay finally the tertiary consumers like hawk or birds are the least in the number and hence the pyramid becomes upright as it is depicted in this figure a grasses are much more than the herbivores these are the smaller than these then the other consumers these are smaller than the herbivores and the top consumer is very small than this one this was the uh, illustration or which is the example of an uh, ecological pyramid of numbers in grassland ecosystem okay this figure see depicts the pyramid of numbers in pond ecosystem similarly in pond ecosystem the number uh, the pyramid is upright as shown in this picture here the producers which are mainly the phytoplanktons as algae bacteria or maximum in number 
The herbivores, which are small fishes, rotifers, etc., are lesser in number than the producers, as it is depicted in this picture. The secondary consumers are, we can say, carnivores like the small fish eating each other, water beetles, etc., which feed on the primary consumers are lesser in the number than the herbivores here. Secondary consumers are greater in the number than the top carnivores, while the finally top carnivores are the biggest fishes which are the very least in the number. Hence, the friends, it is clear from the picture we have cited in this example that the organisms tend to get bigger moving along the successive trophic levels. Predators such as fish needs to be large enough to overcome their prey such as algae. It is clearly depicted in this picture and due to the decreasing number and the size is increased. It becomes the base, if we uh, talk about the base of the pyramid, it becomes the wider and the apex becomes the narrower. And hence the pyramid of the numbers in the pond ecosystem become upright. Okay, dear friends, here is one more example of pyramid of numbers in the forest ecosystem. It is somewhat different from we have I have already uh, discussed it with the pyramid of numbers in the grassland or uh, forest. Sorry, in the pond ecosystem. However, in the forest ecosystem, as depicted in the figure D, the pyramid of numbers is somewhat different in the shape. The producers, which are mainly large sized trees, are lesser in number and form the base of the pyramid. It is depicted here. This is the tree and the graphical representation is this one. The herbivores which are the fruit eating birds, elephants, deer etc are more in number than the producers. Here this one represents the herbivores. Then there is a gradual decrease in the number of the secondary consumers like blues, snake and tertiary consumers such as loin, making the pyramid again upright. Thus, pyramid of numbers in forest ecosystem is neither upright nor inverted. It is somewhat tumble shaped. Actually, the pyramid of numbers does not give a true picture of the food chain as they are not very functional. They do not indicate the relative effect, effects of the geometric food chain and size factor of the organisms. Generally, the pyramid of numbers varies with different communities with different types of food chains in the same environment. It becomes sometimes very difficult to represent the whole community on the same number scale since the size of individual may vary widely and may not indicate the productivity of that individual pyramid of numbers say little or nothing about the amount of energy moving through the ecosystem. Energy is lost as a heat on moving from one trophic level to another trophic level or we can say from one trophic level to the next so as an animal to the right of the food chain needs to eat several organisms below it in order to obtain enough energy for example as i have depicted in the grassland ecosystem a rabbit eats many bundles of grass but in pyramid of numbers, this is not true for all types of food chains as in the case of parasitic food chain. Dear friends, 
it was all about the pyramid of the numbers and in that we have discussed the different types of ecosystems let us proceed with the another type of pyramid of ecological pyramid that is known as pyramid of biomass the total amount of matter present in organisms of an ecosystem at each trophic level is biomass pyramid of biomass records the total dry organic matter of organisms at each trophic level in a given area of an ecosystem a pyramid of biomass indicates how much biomass is present in each trophic level at any one time and is measured in kilograms grams or pounds pyramid of biomass are comparatively more fundamental because instead of geometric factor they show the quantity to relationship of the stating crop the pyramid of biomass may be upright or inverted depending upon the type of food chain involved dear friends here are two different examples of two different ecosystems of pyramid of biomass for example in the grassland or we can say terrestrial ecosystem the there is a gradual decrease in biomass of organisms at successive levels from the producers to top carnivores as it is depicted here and due to the decrease of this uh, energy in different the topic levels like uh, if we take an example of the uh, producer level which is the which forms the base of this uh, pyramid then herbivores consumers top consumers the decrease in the energy in the kilograms is shown the biomass goes on decreasing while moving from one trophic level to another as depicted in the picture however if organisms of the lower levels of a level is always much smaller than those of the high levels the biomass of pyramid may be inverted as in case of the pond as depicted in the one and one more example inverted pyramid in aquatic uh, ecosystem uh, here is the here is some kind of different picture as in case of the pond the producers are smaller by organisms as phytoplanktons or diatoms their biomass is quite negligible as compared to the smaller herbivore fishes that feed on them the biomass of the large carnivore species feeding on smaller fishes is still higher forming the apex of the pyramid thus making the pyramid inverted in the shape as it is depicted here and you can say that how much energy get degrades towards the producer level it is completely opposite to the uh, terrestrial if we say that uh, uh, generally what the biomass of the um, pyramids in the terrestrial ecosystem is upright while in case of the aquatic ecosystem it is completely inverted the last type of of the pyramid ecological pyramid is pyramid of energy of the three ecological pyramids the energy pyramid gives the best picture of overall nature of an ecosystem it indicates the total amount of energy present in each trophic level in contrast with the pyramid of numbers and biomass which are pictures of the static situations the pyramid of energy is a picture of the rates of passage of food mass through the food chain at successive trophic levels 
there is a huge loss of energy that is 90% and this decrease of energy from one trough cloud to another is due to the conservation of potential energy into kinetic energy and heat energy. Only 10% of the overall movement of potential energy is transferred from one trophic level to the next trophic level, commonly referred as 10% law and this has been discussed in the last lecture that is the functions of the ecosystem where I have fully discussed what is the 10% law, how the different uh, types of energy and the different kinds of food chain are in different kinds of ecosystem decrease from one to another and the rest of the energy is lost as the heat. The pyramid of energy is always upright as there is always a gradual decrease in the energy content at successive trophic levels from the producers to various consumers. These are two different examples of the energy, ecological parameters of energy. And first one, this is the ecological pyramid of energy. Here is the decrease of the energy towards the apex. And this one is one more example of the pyramid of energy in a grassland ecosystem. The producers manufacture their own food sources directly from the sunlight by the process of the photosynthesis. In order to carry out the functions of the uh, ecosystem, consumers acquire energy through the beginning, beginning of, of this level and by the process of the burning or breaking down the food molecules they consume from the producers. Thermal energy or we can say the heat is produced as a result of the burning of these food molecules and more than a half of the energy from each food molecule is lost as heat for instance in terrestrial ecosystem the quantity of energy trapped by the green plants in an area is highest and consequently decreased while moving from herbivores through secondary consumers to the top carnivores forming an applied pyramid as it is depicted in the pictures. Thus, it is clear that more energy is available at the first tropic level. And as we move from producer level to, towards the successive tropic levels, the amount of energy goes on decreasing, thereby depicting that smaller food chains are if shift then larger ones in terms of energy. In the book uh, examples, if you can see that energy in the kilocalories is the highest at the base that is at the producer level then it goes on the decreasing towards top carnivores. That this is the reason that why energy pyramid or we can say the pyramid of the energy is always upright in every kind of ecosystem. Thank you for watching this lecture. Dear friends, I hope you like this lecture and if you want to receive or, or watch such type of lectures, I hope you will subscribe my channel for more such lectures and you will get updated for such type of lectures. Thank you so much again.